Hey y'all, it's your girl Phoenix Fire. I'm here today with the lovely London Jen. Hey Jen. Hey Phoenix, what's up? I'm good. So this is another episode of Girls With Bars and today is featuring London Jen. If you don't know who she is, she's a, a female, a British female blogger. Um, she loves battle rap as well. And she's got a lot of different skills as well, don't you girl? We're going to talk about your cooking at some point. You already oh, know. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to my show, London. Okay. Again. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. Um, pleasure to be here. Honoured to be here. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. So, as I always start off my interviews, I'm going to ask you, what, what, why are you called London Jen? So, it's a couple of reasons. Um, I first got into battle rap via U US battle rap. I didn't even know UK battle rap existed for a little while. Um, and I made connections with people over in the US first before I did over here, like sort of online collection connections. And it was always like the first thing, oh, you're from London? And I, I sort of became, oh, that girl from London. Mm. And when I was starting the channel, I wanted obviously to sort of have, I wanted to talk about UK, I wanted to talk about all sorts of battle rap, but I knew that I would be talking a lot, a, a lot about American stuff. And I thought one of the things that, would, that, do, that does distinguish me is that I'm from London. I'm a London woman who's into battle rap a lot, I watch a lot of American battle rap. And it just made, it, it just kind of made sense to me to sort of put that as, I'm, I'm not, the most inventive when it comes to things like names and things i'm a bit obvious so i just thought what well, you know yeah i'm a Talk bit about obvious. lazy I, it was lazy i'm from london no, I'm joking, my name's I'm jenny no for real for real and it was but it kind of worked as well and yeah. it was yeah i just wanted and also it was just it was a bit i thought as well if if i'm called london and london is a place and i sort of you know, the more you hear my name, the more not my name becomes synonymous with London. So there was a bit of sort of, of marketing strategy in yeah. there as well as the lazy choice. I just definitely so yeah, really. that's 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 London Jen. Lovely, I like it. So why did you add? Why is it three ends and not two? Um, because I couldn't get London Jen on. Um, I can't remember. Someone's got. <laughs> I a know London that Jen feeling. How annoying, yeah. and then you have to change yeah. it. Yeah, I know. But. I guess it, 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 it kind of, as soon as you add an extra letter or you change the spelling of something, especially two words as random as London Jen, it makes it easier to find. Like Phoenix, you've put the, the two X's hmm. or, um, yeah, like you, you have That's to- That's what I did as well, I mean, I mean, it needs to be unique. But you know what, I spell my name differently as well. Sometimes people, they insist on spelling it the correct way. It's yeah. like, no, 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 no. It's yeah. not E-H-O-E-N-I-X, it's P-H-E-O-N-I-X, yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah, Thanks. get it right, get it right. <laughs> they tried to correct my spelling, but I spelled it incorrectly on purpose, if that makes For sense. For a reason, yeah. I like to look at Yeah, you really think you jump out of here, start up a brand, and don't even know how to spell the word <laughs> that you're calling your name after, your brand after, come on. <laughs> But yeah, okay, that's interesting though. So, how did you get into such a, uh, I guess, kind of violent, volatile uh, industry? Is it industry music? Is it music? Yeah, it's an industry. It's a community. Yeah, community things, of battle rap. Thing, yeah. right? Yeah, it's not for everyone. A lot it's of people not. understand why people even like battle rap in the first place. So. I, I know, yeah, my girlfriends are often quite confused still. So tell me, what is this thing? So they do what? Know, know, uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing is they ask you to play a battle for them. The look. <laughs> my girlfriends don't even want me to do that. You're joking. <laughs> uh, they'll, they'll look at my channel every now and again, um, but, but that's about it. And yeah. they're like, yeah, no, I don't get it. It's Russian to me. But you look cute <laughs> or something. But um, yeah, how did I get here? I'm a big hip hop, hip -hop fan. I like, I like rap music. I like words. I like, I'm a big words fan. I'm a big fan of people doing inventive things with language, creative things. And because I like hip hop, it, it, I, I, I got here by accident um, listening to freestyles. Mm -hmm. um, I've said, said it a few times. I was listening to some, some flunk, funk flex freestyles or something like that. And I found King Lowe's, Fire King Lowe's in the recommended section of YouTube. I found JC and Chilla. And the rest is history. Um, yeah. I, I started watching, yeah. and you know, I just I, I, 
yeah, it, it's one of those things that if it, if it's for you and you find it, you you stay there because. Yeah, yeah. Have you have you heard the loaded lux freestyle? I have, I have. I've heard uh, there are, uh, and I rate it. I think my favorite freestyle is probably um, that's in my top three. But I would say my favorite is um, Surf Bars on I Nine Five. Okay. Uh, there's just something about that freestyle, but I, I, I do rate the 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 mm -hmm. Lux has got two that I think, and they're probably high. Both of them, well, two that I know of. I'm sure he's got more than that. And in fact, one of one of um, I put it on my Instagram and and captioned it like as proud mama moment or something because I walked into my son's room one day, yeah. and uh, he's lying on his bed with his iPad or with my iPad, and he was like, mom, mom. You should check out this guy, man. His name's Loaded Lux. He's hard or something. He's sick. I think he said he's sick. And I'm like, I, I just laughed. I was like, Loaded Lux. It's so nice. You're watching. No, that was it. I heard him. I heard it. And I was like, What are you watching, son? And he was like, Oh yeah, mum, you need to check this guy out. Loaded Lux. He's sick. <laughs> yeah, no, that's funny because like when I first played the Lux freestyle, like my son really likes it. I'm like, Do you even know what he's saying though? Yeah. He's like, I'm not sure, but I like the way it sounds, the rhythm and everything. So he really likes that Lux freestyle. We watch it a lot. So he proper like... He's got something, because like, it does sound good, because he's so lyrical. It, uh, yeah, so passionate, get, man. Because, rap, perfect rap. That's it. If you don't get all of, if you don't understand everything, it still means something to you. It still does something yeah, because to because sometimes you, you can listen to rap, hip hop in another language and you're still feeling it. And you don't Absolutely. really understand what they're saying. Absolutely. There's a lot of French get the... rappers that I like. Yeah. Yeah. They're really fire, you know, but I'm, yeah. I'm, I don't understand that much French, you know what I mean? But the passion that they spit with, Universal I'm feeling language. the vibe and the beat. That's it's all it. good. All right. Um, so how are you? All right, so what's the hardest challenge you've had to face so far as a blogger? Oh, the hardest challenge. That's a good question. I would say probably the hardest challenge is overcoming myself overcoming my own sort of foibles the things that doing it that was that's the hardest challenge blog one the first my first show battle rap world the first show that's the hardest challenge i, I had mm -hmm. and then i think that continues that first be, one is hard right my first ever it. blog took forever <laughs> That's it, to People jump out of the window. <laughs> yeah, that's it, that's it. And it was like, from the time I said that I wanted to do, I wanted to, to sort of do this sort of thing. Yeah. And to my first blog, there's probably like five years. And for Battle Rap, it must have been at least sort of six months I was saying, I want to do this, I want to do this. Mm -hmm. So that was my hardest challenge and continues to be just myself. Beating, you know, yeah, conquering myself and the challenges I present to myself. I yeah. guess, rather than anything that I've specifically done with anybody else. That's the, that's the, that's good, that's good. So how, but how did you overcome those challenges? Well, I'm still, like I said, it's a journey. I'm still there. <laughs> when you're trying to overcome yourself and when you're also your own worst enemy, it mm -hmm. takes some work. Um, so the challenges are basically that um, I, I don't lack confidence generally, but what I don't, what I, I, I'm, I'm the sort of person I like to be confident in what I'm speaking about. Mm. I like to have knowledge and this is, I'm new here and I'm very conscious of my newness and I'm very conscious of my knowledge gaps and the things that I don't know. And it's such, the community is such, is such a, um, the battle rap community is well invested and invested in the history and they've all been around for such a long time that people have yeah mm. me coming around like I, I you know for me to bring something to the table i have to do my homework and when i haven't done my homework i feel like i'm lacking yeah. and there's only so much i can do and this is where the challenge comes there's only so much i can do i'm doing my homework i'm i'm i'm, I'm invested and i'm working hard and that's enough and i need to I need that, that just needs to be at the forefront and I can't be expected to know everything and I don't have to be perfect. Like I don't have to know everything. No, you don't. You know, who cares? <laughs> who cares as well? Who Enjoy cares? it, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's it. It's not, when it becomes like a, a job, it's not fun anymore. Exactly I mean. that. And I started yeah. it as my passion project because it is my it's passion. Be passion. Rap is, that's it, that's it. Staying up till four in the morning, man. All this four. craziness that people in the UK and like abroad do 
to keep up with the American timing. It's not easy, mm-hmm. man. We go hard. It really isn't. You know what I mean, we it really, really isn't. I've had to wait up till five, six in the morning for interview. You know, I was like, I'm gonna oh, make this work. Wow. <laughs> yeah, no, it has to work. After I've waited up this long, you bet. Yeah, it has to work. <laughs> it has to work. Oh my gosh, true, yes. true. Um, all right, so Mook versus Rob, they just recently battled. Big mm-hmm. controver- controversial battle. What's your opinions? Who won that battle to you? Okay, Mook won it clearly to me. Okay. What rounds did you give him? What was the score for you? Score vi- 2 1 to 3 0. Oh. And I gave Mook, you know what? I can't, I can't say that I give Tay Rock a round. Okay. I can't, I can't. I, I, if any round, I would give him the second. I, for me, that was Tay Rock's strongest round. And I hear the complaints about Mook's first, or not the complaints, or why some people give Tay Rock the first, because, mm. well, yeah, I've got, it, I've got it a clear win to Mook. My predictions going in, was that Tay Rock would take it and that Mook wouldn't impress me and that Mook would be very long. He would rap. I didn't think he would rap necessarily more than sort of seven, eight minutes. Yeah. But I did think I mean, he yeah. would be long-winded. Definitely. I think a lot of people did. Yeah. You know I mean, I definitely did not predict like Mook to do as well as he did. You know what I mean, he did yeah. amazing, actually. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of people definitely counted Mook out because Tay Rock is a new era. You know what I'm saying? So we expect lots of greatness from Taylor. But uh, yeah. Mook came through with it. Yeah, you know? no, I think, and I, I've said about it, because one of the things that I don't have as a new fan, and sometimes it's a good thing, is that I don't have nostalgia. I know how great these legends are. And I see, you know, I've, going back, I've gone back and I've checked the great, you know. But sometimes to me, it, I don't see, because I don't have the nostalgia factor, because I wasn't there, because I wasn't involved in the hype, because I wasn't passionate about this battle or that battle or or at the time, Mm. I look at it with very fresh eyes. And sometimes I see things that I I, I just think, okay, that's not that great to me. I understand at the time, and I but to me, I don't rate that as highly as I rate some other stuff, or I rate it for what it was at the time, but I don't think, like looking at Mook, and looking at some of the more recent stuff that he's done, I, I thought he would come in long-winded. There would be random bars. There would be some bars that were reaches or just not great. Like, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't that hopeful going in, but he really did surprise me. And because Tay Rock had also leveled up, in my opinion, after mm-hmm. the Daylight Battle, mm-hmm. I thought he would carry on that sort of a performance or that sort of level of material and that level of, structure and not just you know being more complex with his material yeah. um even if it was a lot of gum gum bars being more direct with it or being mm. just being a little more strategic with it and i didn't expect that from mook and that's that's kind of what mook did <laughs> yeah we kind of uh counted mook out didn't we we can't add the yeah. old head out. I mean, I definitely did i can say that for <laughs> yeah. real i definitely a lot did. Of people did it's not just you don't worry um all right so are you excited about the um watch the throne card the i movie? am because i am super hyped about it i, I am see. very excited especially after um queens versus kings and like i like the fact that we're going back to back as well like it's nice so, that we've just had a, a mega need, man. i love it and it's, and it's free happened, so it's great yeah i love yeah. the fact that this is so, so many people will watch and get to know them do you know what i mean that's it, it yeah exactly it doesn't cost you to yeah. give these women a shot it doesn't cost you anything to be sitting at home even as men like with your people and just oh yeah watch this it's free like why not like if yeah. you're not it, and it, it, I think it just gives the 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 the, theme, the women especially a chance mm. to grow. It's good for battle rap as a whole, but for women, it's hard to get people to appreciate women doing things anyway, whether it be sports <laughs> or whatever. You know, but from it's not centered around their beauty, it's hard to get men on board or, or a larger audience. So yeah, no, I'm excited yeah, to I'm have looking. these events Definitely. back to back and um, to see to see. Uh, uh, I think we're going to get some 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 great battles. I Definitely. think we're going to get some really good battles. Right, so let me go through the card with you. Let's see how you call these. How you're going to? You want to do a quick prediction? Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can yeah, do that. We can do that. So first battle is Miss Hustle versus Lady Luck. 
Okay. I, um, I'm a big fan of Hustle. I like, I like her aggression. I like her delivery. I think she's, you know, she's got bars without a doubt. And I like, I like her sort of, her persona. Mm -hmm. Lady Luck, I wasn't at all, I, I know, I knew, I knew who she was in the culture. I know she's a rapper. I know, you know, that she's, again, a legend, but I, I, I wasn't at all familiar with her battles. I haven't seen any of her battles. Oh, I think I'd seen one. I can't remember what one it is now. I'd seen one. Mm -hmm. Then I went back and I watched the first battle with Remy. I watched that. So that was, I don't know how many years ago, first battle with Remy Ma. And then I watched, mm -hmm. right after that, I watched the battle with Official. It was Official, wasn't it? She battled mm -hmm. recently, or not recently. Not recently, but yeah. Yeah. Smoke in her face. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And to me, although they were years apart, there wasn't much elevation in the performance. Like it was very much a rapper's performance rather than a battle rapper's performance. Mm -hmm. I know she's very much tuned in to the culture, or she appears to be from what I can see. She's tuned in mm -hmm. to, you know, to, to, to Queen of the Ring, to what's going on. So, and I'm sure she would have seen what the likes of Mook has done, what Lux has done, you know, what the legends sort of coming back in, even 40 Cal or Jag. Um, that's, yeah, I'm not sure about this one when it comes to, um, I, I'm sure about Miss Hustle. I'm sure about, you know, I know her capability. Powerhouse, man. She's, she's going to go that's hard. It. Oh, I know. That's, that's uh, it. And I can't see, I don't know how, I don't, you know, Lady Luck has got a lot to, to do. Come, any, any opponent of Miss Hustle's has got a lot to do, but someone who hasn't been in the game for a long time, and when they were in the game, from my opinion, it seems like she was always a rapper and not a battle rapper. Yeah, definitely. I understand what you mean, though. I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? There's certain elements of battle rap that need to be incorporated to get that whole package locked down. Absolutely. Out. You can't just rap. Definitely not. Yeah. Okay. Um, how are you feeling about 40 bars versus official? Mm, I'm looking forward to this. I am looking forward to this one. Really it's looking forward to this one. Yeah. Hard to yeah. Hard Hard uh, win this battle. My, I'm going with 40 bars. However, what I do think is if we get three clean rounds from both of them, it's going to be debatable. It's going to be preference. Because they're two, like, this is a proper style clash. You've got Miss Hustle, uh, you've got Miss Hustle, you've got um, Official, who's just going to go in there and punch, 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 aggressive, loud, um, hostile. And, and she's, when she's on form, she's, it's hard, it's so hard to beat her. And then on the other side, you've got Forty and her pen and her lyricism and, that 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 ability to sort of really write mm. stuff that you're just like whoa, it's yeah I don't I, I'm I'm going with forty, but I'm not that I'm I splitting hairs there. Man. Official was yeah. supposed to be Arsenal. She didn't be Arsenal, man. I'm gonna have to analyze that further. And someone, someone pointed out to me recently as well that that's, that's an angle that 40 might come with as well because that's, that was the losing, that's the, the battle that lost the women, the, the whole thing. That was what took it 3-4. Like 40 went in there and she did, like she made a man quit. Battle, man. She made a man quit. Like Arsenal got a win. And also, Arsenal. one thing I have concerned... Ridiculous. <laughs> One thing too good for my liking. <laughs> yeah, and Arsenal was so unexpected. He, he went, went in. There, I thought he, he rapped to that woman. He came to rap. He went and he rapped he to her. Rap. There was very little disrespect. I know. And, the, this, and I thought it was very, very little disrespect. disrespect. Yeah, that's surprised. that was my prediction. They all surprised. So me. surprised me. The males yeah. that surprised me, man. They they weren't playing. Some well, some not for the best of reasons. Well, no, um, Trump had the wrong angle of Casey. That totally, he yeah, that was lazy, sloppy. No. I called it. It was like a misogynist bingo. Yeah. It was like you could just sit there and we. Like, the ladies are too advanced for that type of BS. Yes. What? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Casey took you to school. She showed you how to construct a battle. It was. Um, but official, I was really, con not concerned, but one of, the, one of the things that let her down 
And I'm big on performance and not just like performance and delivery. Like you can have the hottest shit in the world. And if you can't deliver it, like, like you're the hottest shit in the world, mm. then it doesn't hit as hard to me. Mm. And official, she was having breathing difficulties, projection difficulties. She was really she was. struggling she up there. Like, I felt like she should open her jacket up as well. I feel a like- A few people said the jacket was sort of choking her. Yeah, and I think also as well, when you've got that sort of, when you've got that barking delivery, when you're hype and you're aggressive and you're high energy and you're back to back to back to back, mm -hmm. and there's no pauses, you're used to being up on a stage with a crowd who are stopping you every 30 seconds. Take a break. But hey, that's it. Because you're punching so often, you're taking breaks so often because the audience is allowing you. So you're not, official isn't used to having to go up there mm. and continually punch. And I think, was it Misfit who said in, um, she did a blog recently and she was saying that it looked like she hasn't practiced in she when she practices because she you know she's flawless in her delivery and her memorization and whatnot but it she doesn't practice at that energy she mm. says her words over she doesn't deliver them over and over she doesn't do it it's not a dress rehearsal basically she needs mm. to to do <laughs> because i think yeah that's something that let her down against arsenal and it was something that yeah. it took away from it took away from her performance because everyone was thinking it, seeing it. Okay. We don't need a distraction when your material is that good. Just you know, we want you to get through it in the best way and deliver it with power. So I'm sure that's something she would have worked on definitely. I mean, hopefully, man. Gosh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. I feel like this is gonna be a, it's gonna be a fire battle though. But I'm gonna have to see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's I think, what I'm analyzing the most. Yeah. All right. Um, let me let me flip it on you and ask you another kind of question. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like I need a drink for this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Hold on. All right, so if you're offered, yeah, so we haven't gone through the whole card. We've gone through three battles. Mm -hmm. We've gone through Lady Luck and Hustle, Fordy and Official, and Yo. Yeah, yeah. We've only gone through two battles. No, I'm going to get back three. to it. Oh, no, we didn't. Yeah, okay. I'm going to ask you one more battle from that. Yeah, so we'll yeah. do three battles all together. Let me ask you this. All right, so if you're offered, yeah, mm. what did it say? Oh yeah, <laughs> so you were offered a pill, mm. right? it makes you 50% uh, smarter. Yeah. Smarter. More intelligent, yeah? But you lose all your, all your hair and eyebrows, but you'd be 50% smarter. Would you, would you do it? Would you take the pill? See, I'm bad at these sorts of questions because now I'm like, well, what do I know about the pill? Has it been through proper testing? Is it research? I'm what like are its long-term consequences? <laughs> Information. It's like, yeah, I can lose my hair and eyebrows, but am I going to take this pill and it's going to work for, you know, three months before, you know, my ears start falling off because oh, I've so, taken oh, this oh, pill. Right. This is my question. The pill oh, but, all right. has any other effects apart from okay. 50% more. Okay, okay. <laughs> No, no, I don't take it. Uh, yeah, okay. If I know it's safe, I don't know that my ego would allow me to take it. I don't know. I would love to be 50% more intelligent, mm. but I wouldn't. The fact that a pill gave it to me, yeah, and I know, like, yes, there's lots of things that I could do if I was 50. That's a whole heap more intelligence. I can probably make a lot more money, but I wouldn't sleep well at night. Yeah, like, I could do a lot with that, but I wouldn't sleep well at night knowing, you know, you're not that smart, babe. You know, it's a pill, yeah? <laughs> In the, you know, you know, you're just catfishing everybody with your that's brain it. right now. That's it. That's it. Brain catfishing. That's exactly it. My ego wouldn't like. Yes, my my on paper, my mm. life might be improved, but I like sleeping well. I like peace. I like. Yeah. You just wouldn't like the benefits. Wouldn't I? Don't know. Maybe my ego is too big. Maybe I should have just you know 
bitch, put your ego to bed and just take the money. Because it's extra, you know, that's what it is. It's extra opportunity and it's extra, yeah, it's the opportunity to do more with your brain. And I should really go for that. Yeah. I think it's, a, I don't know what I would do, actually. It's a good philosophical I'd be like, question. Only I like the question. I yeah. don't know if I'd do that, mate. I'd be walking around bald like Kajak. I don't think so. 50% is one. a lot, though. 50% is a lot. When you think about... It is a lot. Yeah, when you think about... We can only use our brain uh, capacity. But when you think about, like... Also, okay, I might not be up there in the top 10, but you give me 50% of more than what I've got. That's more than a lot of people. That puts me in a very intelligence but that that means my brain is going to be thinking a lot of uh, my <laughs> my brain's going to be thinking on a different level yeah. and i'm going to come up you with use a lot it to more. make to advance yourself that's it I, I think i definitely could use it to advance myself far more than you know i can buy you know my, I'm, I'm gonna come up with some good good ideas i'm gonna make some money i can yeah. get the latest tattooed <laughs> eyebrows and, the eyebrows and, hair thing. Well, you could maybe and something. i think i could pull off bald like i think i could do it and i'd have a closet full of wigs like it could be fun <laughs> however i would constantly be thinking you know this is just an enhancement this isn't yeah. you, you i guess so. i don't know if i'd be racked with any guilt but I was just yeah. really worried about my hair, my bloody eyebrows. Man, where am I going? <laughs> Where's the balaclava? All right, come on. All right, love. So my next question to you is, would you rather have no arms or no legs? Oh, okay. Um, I think probably no arms. Okay. okay. I think no arms because okay. no legs brings a level of dependence that no arms doesn't necessarily bring only because you can use actually well I guess mm, yeah right so if I can train myself if the rest of me is fine and I've got no arms I can train myself to use my feet as arms it's not the most logical practical I'm not necessarily going to want to go in and eat in a restaurant with my feet but it doesn't mean like for me to get up and go somewhere, like for me to go and do something, like I don't have to be in a chair, like I can't, like I think it's far more restrictive in terms of quality of life to not have the use of your legs than it is the use of your arms. Mm. I think, and, and especially in today's day and age, there are all sorts of ad adaptations that I could probably get for an arm that I could control potentially, or an arm, all right, so something that I use with my feet. Like I can use my foot to control something which acts as an arm. Well, you Do you can, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Whereas being in a wheelchair, <laughs> we are not a society that is equipped for the disabled, much less people who have to use a wheelchair. Your life is, your quality of life is, is I would imagine, reduced yeah, more. Definitely. Okay. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> um, I ask these type of questions because it, it kind of uh, allows I like them. me to, uh, thank you, to get to know you better. And the yeah. Type of person you are. From answers people give, you really mm -hmm. get to know them a lot more, you know, more than they definitely. really. Definitely. Definitely. I agree. I've watched a lot of your interviews and it does. You, you because they're sort of, they're questions about how people think. Yeah. Like or, it. yeah. So, yeah, no, I think they're really good. <laughs> Thanks, girl. Okay. All right, so the last battle I'm going to talk about is Tori Do versus Yoshi Ooh, from the card. Okay. Just do yes. three battles. I don't want to put you on the spot having to predict everything right now. So Tori versus Yoshi. I, I'm, I'm not sure with this. I think Yoshi is going to take it. Okay. Why? I like, I like Yoshi. Okay. I like, like people talk about her and her thought bars. However, okay, that's her thing. That's her thing. It's been a brand. It's a brand now. It's it's a brand and it's part of, but it's also like it's who she is. Like you don't question. I'm not her in a bar. Like I'm Yoshi Jean. I don't know who it was. I think she either quoted it or I've seen it on Twitter. 
Yeah. Yoshi Jin. Like it's a verb, yeah. <laughs> it's a Yoshi G, yeah. yeah. That's dope. <laughs> yeah, and but it to me, it seems like that's her being her authentic self. Mm -hmm. And there is no greater quality you can bring to the ring than being real, being authentic, than being believable. Yeah. Like whatever your material is, if your material is believable, that adds that add that add mm, that adds extra points for me. Mm -hmm. Um I'm I'm automatically giving it credibility. Mm -hmm. And to me, Yoshi, that's her being real. Yeah. And you can't say, oh, you know, you don't, you don't really come at Geechee for bring, bringing crit bars or um, yeah. <laughs> like the horseman for, for saying stuff about God. Like this is, they're kind of, and also you, it's not as though the only material Yoshi has is to do with sex. Like, she's good she can write like she can rap like she's and, not and she's well. clever yeah and she's she is she's clever. She's creative the, yeah creative, you know what I'm saying? yeah I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing this this bill collector battle that comes out because it, it seems to me like maybe yeah she went a bit too far there um i got a lot of battles to i gotta watch this one hasn't come out yet this is the mm. br line one but it's mm. um yoshi is supposed to have um dropped to her knees and grabbed on Bill Collector mm -hmm. in front of his wife. He's a married man, mm -hmm. his wife's in the audience. She grabbed him up in the eggplant. She also dropped to her knees. There's some, yeah, it's, heard, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Have, actually, but I haven't seen the battle yet, so I guess yeah, we'll it hasn't it. come out yet, yeah, so we have to wait and see. Some so I'm looking forward to seeing it, actually. Yes. Some people yes. complaining like don't yes. touch the married man and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I did see I did see something like that, but I haven't I did seen see. That. Yeah. I'll wait till that one comes out. Okay. So you got um Yoshi I, taking I've this. got Yoshi, yeah. I, I, I like I like Tori. Obviously, what was the last we saw of Tori was on royalty and she mm. was you know, couldn't get out her material against chess. And to me what she did get out wasn't the strongest and I think that's Someone said to me recently that um, the only thing Tori's, you know, the only thing she's known for is her remote won't work bar, and she doesn't have much more than that. And I don't. That was a fire bar. That's it, definitely not true, man. Whoever said that's bugging. She's been around yeah. for a long time. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? yeah. She's little, but, but she's fire. Yeah, and I, I think the aesthetics. I like the aesthetics of this battle as well. That it's sort of two two little ones. I, I, yeah, not, they're so not, petite. Not to, yeah, two fire. petite. That's it. Yeah, and that's it because they bark. Like they mm. bark. Yeah, I think it, visually it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting fight. But um, I don't. I don't. I think I've watched quite a bit of Tori, but I don't think she has the strongest material, um, to be 100% honest. And I like, and I haven't seen much of Yoshi, but what I have seen, I like how she thinks. And I like that she is authentic and that she's found something that works for her. Mm. So I'll be interested to see this, but yeah, I've got, my prediction is with Yoshi. Yeah. No, that's, that's good. That's good. This could go either way, man. I have, I'm going to do a pred whole prediction blog, so yeah. I really got to think about it. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I guess, like, I've watched Toy for a long time, so I've seen a lot of her battles. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, so I've got to weigh it up how I feel about the whole thing. Who's going to... Yeah, I agree. That. I agree. I want to do uh, a prediction blog, but I don't feel like... I feel like I've seen enough of all of the women to talk about or to say I haven't seen them at all, but for me to do a proper prediction i need to do some more homework because i haven't been so you know, i haven't you been them, around long enough more than the men or, or equally equally no i watched i watched the men far more than like um and again like so something that might be a little hard i think it's difficult to get your head around when you're a fan who's been in it for a very long time mm -hmm. it's hard to understand when you're a new fan and you have no I have no point of reference. Like when I first found this Chiller and JC battle, I don't know. Like I've kind of seen Smack DVD stuff and I've kind of seen like battles in Smack DVD, but I, I don't really know 
that this whole battle rap organization, this whole community, that there are well established leagues. Like, I'm watching a battle and I have no idea that this isn't just some one off thing, mm. that this isn't two guys, just like, I don't know what it, it like, it took a long time. Yeah. to even sort of find a Queen of the Ring battle or even realise what Queen, Queen of the Ring is. And then it's like, okay, who do I watch? Who do I... So it took me... It took me a long time to sort of find anything, to, to realise what entities were, what URL was, what the leagues were, what a Summer Madness was. Because yeah. also I'm watching one battle and I watch the battle and I see a trailer and it's like, oh, okay, there are some events, but I don't know names, I don't know anything yeah i don't even know if if what that is like i don't even know like do, do you understand like and i've got no one because i don't know anyone yeah. i can't say yo what's what's summer madness like is that an event like yeah. who so yeah it took me a while but once once I, I i realized oh okay queen of the ring is a whole separate mm. women's league and there are women who do this thing oh my gosh and there are women who are nice like nice. let me let me check this out yeah. but there's so much there's so much to check out so yeah okay that's that all right well Jen, 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 I might just wrap it up there. So listen, so um, how do we find you, by the way? If we needed to go find you on social media, watch your blogs and all that stuff. Okay, anywhere you want to find me, I am London Jen, all one word, Jen with three N's. So London, J-E-N-N-N, J-E-N-N-N, London Jen. So I'm that on Instagram, Twitter, and my YouTube channel is called London Jen. I present a new channel called Battle Rap World. Um, and I also do blogs and so I'm, I'm gonna go back to my news format as well. That's how I started. That was the thing that I really wanted to do to sort of highlight and spotlight what was going on. And then I was started doing predictions and blogs and recaps and stuff. And it takes so long to get into the editing stuff. Um, mm. But I'm going back there, I'm, I'm, yeah. but London Jen. <laughs> all right so london i'll put it on yeah. the thing anyway so appreciate that and thank you so much for having me on you already know it's all right girl do you know what i'm saying we're representing for the uk out here you know so that's it putting in that that's water. it yeah it's all good all right i think that's about it y'all i hope you all enjoyed this episode of girls with bars featuring london jen um i'm phoenix fire that's london jen <laughs> And it's been fun. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, y'all. Join the notification gang. Um, all of that. Y'all know what to do with it. You already know what time it is. It's your girl, Phoenix Fire. Bye, Jen. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Thanks for having me on. Yeah. You're welcome. See you later, y'all.